Guys, most of you who know me by now probably know that I'm not a truck person. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I really just have never had the use for one. Until now. That's when this baby came along and changed everything for me. Introducing the brand new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Guys, this is a new design. It's a new concept by Hyundai that uh, essentially takes the concept of a crossover and blends it with a pickup truck. I can't think of a better vehicle for vlogging. In fact, I'll go on the record and make the case that this is the absolutely best vehicle that you could have as a vlogger. Let's take a look, shall we? So guys, there are many features that absolutely drew me in that really presented the perfect combination and perfect package of everything that I was looking for in a vehicle to enable me to, first of all, do what I needed to do, going on longer trips, and but also enabling me to do things that I really hadn't been able to do so easily with regard to YouTube and, and my vlogging. And that really encompasses this aspect of it right here. So the question is, what is this thing, really? Because nobody seems to be able to sum it up in one word. Uh, is it an SUV? No. Is it a CUV or crossover utility vehicle? No. The new term that they've coined for this one is SAV sports adventure vehicle and i'm going to tell you right now guys i think it's aptly named guys these things are very difficult to come by right now because it's a brand new release and especially in this color now you guys some of you may give me a hard time some of you are gonna love it some of you are gonna hate it i don't think we'll get too many people in between you know i gotta be honest with you at first look at the color um i wasn't too sure about it but the more i see it and the more i drive in it i get a lot of stairs in it already i uh i'm starting to fall in love with it i'm not gonna lie beats the heck out of lime green okay enough banter let's dive into this baby so first and foremost i'm gonna start off with the most obvious uh feature and attribute and that's this the truck bed it's not big by by standards in fact you know i mentioned to you earlier that I i'm not a truck guy well real truck enthusiasts real true truck people i love and respect you all uh they probably wouldn't purchase this thing so this this enables a whole new market to get into um a, a type of a pickup truck here's the remote that it comes with and this has some pretty cool features i'll start with the tailgate itself is that what you call this thing the tailgate it's not a hatch I don't even know the terminology. Well, it opens automatically, so. It's as simple as that. Then, this is called the tonneau. Tonneau, tonneau. And what I like about it, guys, is it's made out of metal, so it's really solid. It's got this little latch under here. One twist and it opens. It goes all the way back. And guys, you have these rails here on both sides okay you just lift that up and you see you can slide it into whatever position you want tie down whatever you need to tie down and then um you know you have a lot of these clamps here for extra support that you can tie ropes to whatever you need to they got some buckles down there that you can use just really almost nothing they haven't thought of it's more storage right here a little compartment so and that's pretty deep you can get some good stuff in there and then check this out 
on this side. Also more storage, but look at that. You got 115 amp power supply. So guys, if you're out camping, want to hook up the radio, whatever you might need the power for, within reason, um, that's there. Such convenient touches that they put into this thing that uh, uh, I'm really excited to use it. Cup holders here, built in. Why is this utilitarian for me? Because I could throw my bicycle back there now without worrying. And he is the granddaddy of them all. See where it says open there? And look at this. You have this well here that you can use as a cooler or for storage. And by the way, it locks. If I'm out vlogging somewhere and I gotta leave the truck, car, SAV, whatever, I can lock this up. Once I close that tunnel and lock it, I'm good to go. And you also have these lights here. So if it's dark at night, those light up. You see right under the rear brake light, you have another light there. If I'm out camping somewhere down in the Keys, my favorite spot, the lights will show me what I got going on in here. So, and by the way, you got this drain plug feature here. Pull that out. And now if I want to throw some soft drinks in there, uh, I could fill this up with ice and use it as a cooler. And the water will drain out. It's perfectly doable. Uh, tells you in the handbook um, that you can use it for that purpose. So I buy it just for that. The other fine little touch that they put in this thing is it's got this little footstep here. So just climb right in. Guys, once I'm in here, the other great thing about this tunnel is I can open it just to the extent that I need it and then keep the rest closed. But watch how strong this thing is. I am about 150 pounds soaking wet, but it's holding up the barefoot vlogger. You know, one of the other things that I like about it is I can use regular gasoline. There's a pretty big savings, at least when you're filling up in Boca Raton. So let's take a look at some of the specs. We'll start with the engine. Okay, here we are. So it's a four cylinder engine, ladies and gentlemen, but it's a 2.5 liter turbo with 281 horsepower and 311 foot pounds of torque. This baby's got some giddy up. And check this out, they put these Easter eggs in here. I think that's what they call these things, like the little hidden symbols of the, of the truck. 20 inch rims with a really sort of rugged, sporty, adventurous profile. Pretty snazzy looking tail lights. When you're ready to close this tunnel, they have this handy dandy uh, strap that's attached to it. You just grab this and pull it and then slam it shut. And then when you lock it, you won't be able to open this. You have to make sure that you lock all the way this little round knob so that when you close it, safe and secure. Snug as a bug under a tunnel or in a flatbed, truck bed, whatever. So that leads me to the tour of the inside. First of all, you'll notice how plush these seats are. They did a really good job of making these contoured and very comfortable. You have your push button start, of course. Guys, love it or hate it, this car is fully digital. It's got everything is gauges in screens, so there's no buttons. It's completely, I don't know, what's that word? Sleek design, ergonomic, I don't know. Okay, so here's your display screen, and you could see everything. This is the navigation. You know, you could search different places, so it's got this full QWERTY board in it. Um, so navigation, and then you have your radio. So guys, you could see it has like these old fashioned bulb readout um, station uh, numbers to it, which is kind of cool. But again, some people don't like the flat panels uh, displays. And if you don't, you know, then this vehicle probably isn't for you. Me personally, I like them. I like sleek, I like clean. I'm not a knobs guy, so I'm good with this. You got your Sirius FM, and then check this out guys, sounds of nature. Can you hear the chirping? Can you hear the leaves? No, not from the park I'm at. Lively forest. You could hear it in the car. It sounds like a jungle out there. 
But here's the uh, here's the gauges. So, so you press this here, the drive mode, and then you'll be able to see the various gauges. So that one is the uh, sport mode. Then you have the smart mode, snow. I don't think we'll be using that one down here. And it's really cool because the colors on the panel match the uh, sandstone color of the car. Leather wrapped steering wheel, adaptive cruise control. This right here will bring up the menu of the options, uh, tire pressure and whatnot. I mean, then you have your uh, lane control so that if you fall asleep, no, if you if you start to swerve outside of your lane, it'll kind of pull you back into it. And anyway, a lot of cool features, of course, Bluetooth. I mean, it's got something else called Blue Link Connect. And what that is, it's an app that I have uh, on my cell phone that will enable me to uh, start the car, unlock the car, find my car, maps, and a whole host of other options. I really dig this uh, this shifter. It's also uh, got a leather wrap top to it, and um, it just feels great on the hand. It's nice to hold. Almost kind of like those old-fashioned Hearst shifters that they used to have in, in the Chevelles and stuff, but much more modern and up-to-date. This is a cool feature too, guys. Check this out. It's got a wireless phone charger. So I just lay it down in there, and there you go. It's charging. And then you have your uh, USB uh, connectors. So really cool. And guys, I'll show you this from the outside, but then I'll go inside to demonstrate it. No truck would be complete without one of these little pass-through windows. And uh, Hyundai didn't forget. So if somebody's sitting here in the truck bed, and somebody's in inside, they could open it up and have a conversation or pass things back and forth. Very simple to operate. You got this little latch right here. Slide it open. Hello. Works like a charm. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not the roomiest back here, but guys, to be honest with you, I don't know if anyone will ever sit back here, but I'm about five foot eight, you know, with my high heels on. I know, you know, for somebody that's 6'3", 6'4", or, you know, probably even 6'1", 6'2", uh, it'll probably be tight back here. For yours truly, plenty of room. And you do have these AC vents back here, which is great. Keep you from sweltering in the uh, Florida summer heat. All right, guys, let's take this bad boy for a ride. So it's really comfortable in here, guys, and they have this wraparound system so that it all looks very um, integrated and just very visually appealing to the eye. Storage here in the uh, center console. I want you to see the uh, cameras that they got here on this thing. So there's the button. Press that and then the cameras come up and then you have two shots. You have, you know, one that most cars offer, but then you have this other bird's eye view, which I absolutely love. So guys, I will tell you that I was very surprised at um, the agility of this vehicle, the handling, the smoothness. It really feels great. And you know, it does not feel like a truck to me. If I didn't know that bed was back there, I would never think there was one. I mean, it handles really well, uh, takes turns well. Um, it's not a very big vehicle, so it's it's got a pretty good turning radius, but um, it's it's still, at the same time, it's fun to drive because it feels very sporty. So guys, I would describe it as a smooth ride, a very fun, relaxed, and enjoyable ride. It's comfortable, it's got a lot of bells and whistles and benefits and features that, uh, you know, I would expect in, in any high-end vehicle. So guys, speaking of the cameras, check that out. This has a camera on the mirrors that enables you to see what's to the side of you when you're uh, making a turn. Just what the barefoot ordered. So in the end, guys, what's the final analysis on the 2022 
Hyundai Santa Cruz. Should you buy one? Well, I would say definitely if you're a vlogger, yes. As long as you can find one. I'll see you on the road in my 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Looking forward to the next sport adventure in my vehicle. Till next time, this is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, drive carefully. Instant cooler. Don't have to worry about that I remember to pack the cooler because I'm bringing the cooler with me. used to this guys cheers onward and upward life is good in an SAV